Hey guys, it's me, me Melly. Um, today's video will be about um, the book hauls that I've gotten within the last week. Um, I've gotten quite a few from the dollar store, Dollar Tree. Um, I've gotten some from, well I got one for free. Um, it came in the mail from Random House. Um, which I'm excited about because I actually saw it <laughs> in, um, on Goodreads and I've seen, uh, you know, reviews and advertisements for it on different websites. Um, I also was at the Book Trader Used Bookstore today and used some of my store credit for a couple books and also two books I got from my daughter, so I'm actually including them in my video. Yay! That's her in the background, by the way. Okay, so, um, the first two books are actually my daughter, so I'll start with those. So, the first one is... The Vampire Diaries. Um, I don't know if you could see them, but The Vampire Diaries. I think The Awakening is book one. No, no, no. it's... It's uh the no it this is book one okay so this is book one it says volume one and this is book two the struggle okay so all right so she's um I'm by, she's jumping in my video all right so the vampire diaries the awakening volume one and the vampire diaries the struggle volume two um I actually don't it's a show that. You know, obviously the books were out way before the show, and I actually think I read one way back when. Um, if I look at it, I can actually probably tell you the original. Um, I can tell you the original print date, which is 1991, which means I was 11 years old. And yes, I did read this book. Um, and I actually believe, I was like, oh, I read this, but I don't know what I did with the books. Anyway, so she watches the show, and, um, she watches the show. Sorry, like, my camera's being weird. It's, like, zooming in. Anyway, so she watches the show, and she's wanted to read the books, because obviously we know the show is nothing like the books. So, that's her two books. Now on to my two books. The two books that I got from the used bookstore are, I'm actually really excited about one. I've never, I've seen it, but I've never really seen it. Um, anyway, the first one is the classic, um, I don't, can you see that? Yes, you can. It's Emily Bronte, Wuthering Heights, and I read this a very long time ago. Um, I used to have a hard copy of the book when I was in, like, eighth grade, I believe. Um, and I don't know what happened to it. Um, I had the, the e-version, which I tried to, like, certain books I can read as an e-version, as an e-book, and some books I can't. This seems to be one of those books that I actually need a physical copy of the book, maybe because it's a classic. Who knows? Anyway, so I was just walking through the bookstore, and I was in the fiction section, and I was looking just to see what I could find, and I saw this, and I was like, oh my god, I want this book, so I got it. So, and I actually do love the story, and I've seen the movies. I think the book is better. The second book I got um, is Mr. Darcy Vampire. Um... Now, I know that it's not really Mr. Darcy's story. <laughs> it's kind of more like... Okay, so it says, A married man in possession of a dark fortune must be in one of an, of an eternal wife. So, I'm not really sure if he's a vampire or... I don't know what the story is. I don't think it has anything to do with the original, um, the original book. I know that what they, it seems like what they did was the author took Amanda Grange. I'm sorry, I'm so not telling you who the authors are. Amanda Grange is the author. So basically what I think they did was it's a, it's a, 
basically what um, most authors do when they take Mr. Darcy or Elizabeth or any of the classic characters from um, Jane Austen. Yes, Jane Austen. I, for some reason, for some reason, I couldn't. Um, any Jane Austen books is they take the story and they change it, or they take the premise of the original story and they use just the characters in their own story. Like you know, um, so I read a few of the stories like that. So I was like, oh, okay, let me try this one. And this one is actually a brand new book. Like it's never been read. So I wonder if um, the bookstore got it as a like free copy or something. Who knows? Um, but anyway, I wanted to read it, and only because I like the cover. It's kind of cool. I like the cover. All right, so that's that one. The next book I got, I actually just got in the mail the other day. Um, it is Housefrau. I think that's how it's pronounced. Housefrau. And I've seen, um, this came from Random House. As you can see, it's a copy of Random House, from Random House. So, thank you, Random House. And this is, in Hosfrau, Anna Karina goes Fifty Shades with the side of Madame Bovary. So that's kind of intriguing. It's, it's a sexy and insightful, this gorgeously written novel opens a window into one woman's desperate soul. So, Anna, a board housewife who, like her Tolstoyan namesake, throws herself into a journey of self-discovery and tragedy. There's actually a word that comes before journey, um, but I'm not going to read that out loud. So I'm going to sh actually just kind of show you what it says. So that way, oh wait, it's like, oh. can I get it to focus? Not that I can't, okay. So it says, flag journey. Anyway, so I don't want to say that out loud because my 10 year old is sitting right next to me and I kind of don't just want her to hear, like question that. So anyway, the next one, two, three, four, five books I have are from the Dollar Tree. Um, and one of the books one of my friends actually um, got from the Dollar Tree and she she um, did a video on it. And I actually was in the Dollar Tree and I saw it and I was like, oh, okay, let me grab it. It was a dollar. Okay. So the first one is... Um, the Time Traveling Fashionista on Board the Titanic by Bianca Turetsky. Turet, Turet, Turetsky. So that's that book. And um, my 10 year old is photobombing me. <laughs> anyway, so it says What if a beautiful dress could take you back in time? When Louise Lambert receives a mysterious invitation to a vintage fashion sale in the mail, her once painfully average life is magically transformed into a time-traveling adventurer. Slipping on a gorgeous pink gown, Louise, Louise suddenly finds herself on board a luxurious cruise ship a hundred years ago and relishes the glamorous life of this decadent era. That is, until she realizes that she, that she is not on any ship, she's on the Titanic. And it says featuring 25 full color fashion illustrations throughout to showcase the gorgeous dress, dresses and styles of this lavish era. Well, when I just flipped through the book when I was um, uh, looking at it in the store, I saw the, and I was like, oh my god, I have to read this, you know, just even if I look at just the pictures, because the, the drawings are actually very beautiful, like, I don't know if they're hand drawn or what, but they're really, I don't know if you can see, but they're actually really pretty. Um, and I really like the cover of the book, even if I don't read it, maybe my 10 year old will. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and um, maybe she'll read it, who knows. Yeah. Anyway, so the next book I got, I've never heard of, but um, it involved the moon. It's called Under the Moon by Nellie Day Dam Schroeder. Goddesses Rising. 
I'm hoping this is the first book of the series because I didn't look. And if it is not, I'm going to be a little bit upset. <sighs> I don't think it's... Um, it doesn't seem like there's another book before it. It doesn't... I'm actually... I didn't really look inside the books. But, um... It doesn't look as if... There's any other books after it or before it because it usually kind of has the list in the front. But anyway, so this is Under the Moon. Quinn Cald Caldwell is the epitome of a modern goddess. Her power source is the moon. Her ability is restricted only by physical resources and lunar phases. She runs a consulting business in her father's bar, serves on the board of the Ancient Society of Goddesses Education and Defense, and yearns for Nick Jarrett, professional goddess protector and the soulmate she can never have. But someone has developed a rare and difficult ability to drain a goddess of her powers, and Quinn is a target. With the world thinking Nick has gone rogue, whatever that means, and that's actually what it says on the book, whatever that means. And that Quinn is influenced by family ties she didn't know she had, keeping themselves safe while working to find the enemy who's harder each day, but not as hard as denying their hearts. So I think that this book, I actually really, again, like the cover of the book. Um, I actually did read the back of it, and it sounded really cool. Um, this seems to be a, obviously she's an adult, because she's a, she's a, she runs a business, so she's obviously an adult. But this seems like this is maybe a fantasy. I'm not really sure how to categorize this. Fantasy? Well, she's a goddess, and she has powers, so I'm not sure. I guess it's fiction, fantasy. I don't know how to... Okay. Anyway, I don't really know. So anyway, da da da. On to the next book. The Secret of Happy Ever After by Lucy Dillon. I thought the dog was really, 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 really cute. So, this book is... She takes over a neglected bookshop and becomes the manager. And she kind of uses that as an escape from her stepchildren and their dog. And... She, I don't know, she moves, they move to this little town, she takes over a bookshop, and what she thought was her happy ever after is that. The end. The next book, the next book, you could pass. You could pass. <laughs> the, next, the next book that I got is The Trial of Falling Angels. In the background is my my lovely husband. Okay, everybody seems to. I guess I'm in the kitchen at the wrong time. Oh. Anyway, the next book is The Trial of Fallen Angels. And it's a thriller. A, it's Lost Souls and Recovered Memories. Um, so this is uh, uh, about a woman who finds out she's dead, but she's not really dead. She finds herself on a deserted train platform, but she has no memory how she got there, but she's dead. And she's trapped between worlds, and she needs to, um, she's been, cho she's been chosen, she's been chosen, sorry, my, again, she's been chosen, she becomes, she's been chosen, to join an elite group of lawyers who prosecute and defend souls at the final judgment. So she becomes the l a lawyer for the dead and the damned? Huh. And actually, I, I read it and I was like, oh, that sounds really good. I want to read it. Uh, okay. Sounds so, good. um, if you heard my daughter in the background, she wants to read it. Oh, stop it. It, it actually sounds pretty good. I do have a YouTube channel. You um, know. I don't know if she would be able to read that, though, because it's... <laughs> It might be a little too much, too graphic for her as a almost 11 year old. Uh, but uh, I'll read it first and then I'll let... Uh, the word? I'll, I'll maybe let her read it. We'll see. The next book 
And the final book that I got from Dollar Tree. <gasps> Which just got all wet. Hell, I don't know. Luckily, it's only the back cover, and it's not. The back cover seems a little, um. Is called Royal Blood by Rona Sharon, a novel of Tudor England. And it says, in the Tudor court of 1518, your friends and enemies can be one and the same. So, here's the front of the cover. Here's the back cover. Um, I actually like reading um, anything about Tudor England during that time. Um, so this is a historical, not historical fiction. Um, I don't know why. I really enjoyed like um, Philippa Gregory's uh, Tudor series that she did, um, and I actually read those while I was pregnant with my second daughter. So, um, like the other Bolin girl, um, the Bolin inheritance, the Queen's fool. Um, I can't think of the other ones right now. But anyway, so I saw this and I saw, all I saw was Tudor England and I was like, I have to read this. So, that's book. And it's a thick one. But, at the moment, I'm trying to get through Let It Snow by John Green, Maureen Johnson, and Lauren M Miracle? Mir Miracle. And for some reason, don't mind my little book light. For some, 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 some reason, I can't finish it. Everybody raves about these books. Uh, Let It Snow, Paper Towns, Looking for Alaska. I figured, I saw that in the library and I figured I would try to give it a try. I read the first story. I was like, okay, it's okay. I'm in the second story and I see how it relates to the first story because it's all one night. But it's three different stories, but I just cannot get into it. I probably will not finish it. Um, and I'm also reading Between the Lines by Jody Picoult and her daughter, Samantha. Um, and I just started that at my mom's today, so I'm not sure how that's going yet. I only got like four pages in. Anyway, so that's that for the night. Um, I want to say something. And my daughter wants to say something, okay. so quickly. Wait, let me look for my book. Hurry up. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Excuse me. I'm okay, here. so she's taking over my video. Hurry up. You forgot to mention that these books are author L.J. Smith and to check out my YouTube channel. Okay, and what is your YouTube channel? I have four. Okay. The first one is Ariana Martinez. The second one is Ariana's channel. You just have to look for it because there are so many and the first video is clothes that I took off of the internet and I put it in one video by Flippogram. Is that it? Yeah. Okay. Subscribe to me. Like my video. Okay. So that's that for tonight. I'm um, sorry my daughter took over my channel for a minute. My husband jumped in and now you see what my day is about. So, everybody, have a good night. I hope you enjoyed your holiday weekend. If you like it, thumbs up. If you don't like it, thumbs down. If you want to see something specific, leave a comment below. Anyway, sorry the video was so long. I'm probably going to edit just a bit. So, anyway, have a good day. Have a good night. See you guys later. Bye.